These crazy things are known as brine pools, and yes, much like coal, they sit in my head rent-free. And sure, they look kind of eerie and spooky, and rightfully so, they are some of the most extreme environments on Earth. I call brine pools because they're dense, salt bodies of water found deep in the ocean. They almost look like underwater lakes. And there's a few reasons why they form. Usually, it's because salt deeply buried under the ground gets dissolved and it comes up to the surface. And because it's so salty, it's so rich, it basically can't mix with the ocean waters and it just pools up at the bottom in a depression. And I may be British, but I do not want this on my fish and chips. The salinity can be over eight times more potent than what we normally are used to. What makes these environments really extreme is they are anoxic, which means they lack oxygen, and therefore it makes it very difficult for life to survive there. In fact, if animals that are used to certain salinities, so the open waters in the ocean, come into contact with these brine pools, they actually go through a process called toxic shock, which basically kills them instantly. I mean, check out this video. It's absolutely surreal. This eel-like creature basically touches the water and it goes into the spasm. And yeah, just, just look at it. It's insane. But what's interesting is brine pools, as dangerous and as extreme as they are to most life, you do have some extremophiles that live there. This also includes tube worms and mollusks, which have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria, basically meaning that they rely on each other to survive. And yeah, it's absolutely crazy. You can find them in places in the Gulf of Mexico. You can even find them in the Red Sea. And I can't forget about the Mediterranean, of course. But interestingly, they're also found in Antarctica and the Arctic waters. So yeah, there's a bit more trivia for you. If you enjoy my videos, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.